As we grow older, our brain starts slowing down. That is what aging is. But is there something that you can do to prevent this or keep your brain younger and sharper for a long time? That is what we are talking about in today's video. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior. I'm a neurologist. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you are missing out on all the videos like this that will help keep you and your brain healthy. So while today's video is about what you can do to keep your brain healthy, I want to set some context. Your brain does not exist in vacuum. It doesn't exist in isolation. It is connected to the rest of your body. So as you grow and age, that aging affects your body as well. And the healthier your body is, the healthier your brain is. So the most important thing that you can do to keep your brain healthy is to keep your body healthy. And the way to do that is by making sure that you have good sleep, good exercise and good diet. And I have made separate videos on how you can achieve all these things. So you can find them on my channel. I'll also put links in the description below. And if you have these things in place, what I'm going to talk about in today's video is going to be far more useful. So now that I've got that context out of the way, let's talk about what you can do that can specifically help your brain get sharper and remain younger. And turns out there is something that you can do to do that and that is the ability to learn new things so what happens when your brain learns something new let's take a little deep dive into your brain when your brain learns a new information or a new skill your amygdala which is a part of your primitive brain gets activated now this is a signal for your brain that something new is happening let me pay attention now after this your brain decides if this new thing is stressful or not stressful and this is the first reason why learning new things is good for your brain it retains the ability to deal with stress so once the brain deals with this question and decides that whatever is new is not really stressful now it looks at the new thing as a problem to solve. And that is where your prefrontal cortex or your PFC comes in. Your PFC has the job of finding solutions to the new problems that your limbic system is always picking up. Now the PFC has a unique ability to recognize new patterns and to think outside the box. So when it is faced with a new problem, the PFC will first look at the patterns it already knows by looking into its memory bank, which is the hippocampus. The hippocampus is where all your old memories and learned patterns are stored. The PFC will dip into that old storage bank, take out everything it knows and whatever new pattern needs to be formed to solve the new problem, the PFC will now do that. So you can already see how different parts of the brain come together for you to learn a single new thing. Now imagine if you keep doing this, it is like oiling an old car. The more you use a network, the smoother its functioning gets and the more useful it remains for a longer time. Now let's look at an opposite scenario. What happens if somebody doesn't learn new things? Well, first of all, the amygdala and their stress response might not work that well. So they might get more uncomfortable with new situations more quickly. Second, their prefrontal cortex might lose that habit of forming new connections and new patterns. So anytime they see a problem that they're not comfortable with, their first response would be, oh, I can't do anything about this. And third, because the hippocampus starts shrinking with age and because no new memories are being formed, there's no real impetus for the brain to keep it as active as it used to be. There are multiple studies showing how adults who engage in learning new skills keep their brain sharper as they age, their memory is better, their pattern recognition remains sharper, and even their physical movements like hand dexterity can remain better the older they grow. And an important point here, this video is for you, but it is also very much for your parents and other elderly people at your house. Because remember that you are never too old to start learning something new. So even if your parents at home are 60 or 70 and you ask them to learn a new skill, their brain will still show a positive response. Because one incredible lesson that we have learned in the last 10, 15 years is that brain cells never really stop growing. It's just a matter of how much requirement we put on the brain. So some of the best new exercises that you can pick up to keep your brain sharper are 
you can learn a new language. So pick up five new words of another language every day and just start using them in your everyday language and you'll find that your brain is getting sharper and your conversations get more interesting. Learning a new game is an excellent idea. Maybe you can learn to play chess or go or backgammon anything that involves calculation and memory. You can also learn something that requires hand dexterity, like learning to juggle three balls or learning to solve a Rubik's cube. Skills that involve body balance are excellent options. So learning to roller skate or learning to use a skateboard are all good options. And finally, one excellent technique is to teach what you know. Because interestingly, the networks that you use to learn new information are not the same networks you use to teach. So when you learn and teach something, you are basically using two separate networks and this loop can keep your brain sharper and better. So I hope you take this important lesson back with you and share it with your family members. Never stop learning. Curiosity is the one thing that keeps your brain growing and the longer you remain curious, the younger your brain will stay. Just like kids, because there's a reason why people say that the kid's brain is the sharpest because that is when you are at your most curious. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.